Today's daily dose of math is about the distance, speed, and time formula. Here we have a problem up at the top. The speed is 40 kilometers per hour. The time is two hours. What is the distance? Now, you might be able to figure this out in your head, but this is about using a formula. The distance, speed, and time formula is given here on the bottom half. We have three versions of the formula though. On the left side, we have speed isolated on the left side of the equals. In the middle, we have distance isolated on the left. And on the right side, we have time isolated on the left. We're able to solve this same problem with any of these three versions of the formula. All of them work and all of them give the right answer, which is 80 kilometers. But notice how the one in the middle is much faster and easier to get to the answer. This is because the D for distance is already isolated on the left and distance is what we're looking for for this problem. So is this version of the formula always easiest to use? No, it depends on whether they're asking for the speed, the distance, or the time. Let's do an experiment to see if with speed isolated on the left, this version of the formula on the left is the easiest one to use is speed is what the question is asking for. First thing I'm going to do is use my magic wand to make this calculation smaller to make room for a new calculation. Now, what is the magic word again? Oh yes, minimize. Minimize. There, that worked. Let's do it over here as well. Minimize. There, we'll put the magic wand away now. So if this one on the left would be easiest to use when speed is our unknown, let's make a problem where speed is the unknown. And here we go. If the time is three hours and the distance is 90 kilometers, what would be the speed? I want to use this version of the formula where speed is isolated on the left. So that means I'm replacing the D with 90 and the T with three. And then I divide. 90 divided by 3 is 30. The answer is 30 kilometers per hour. And yes, this version of the formula was really fast and easy to use. Over with this one on the right, let's make a problem where the time is the unknown. Here we have speed of 10 kilometers per hour and distance of 80 kilometers. What is the time? We take that version of the formula and we replace the D with 80 and the S with 10. And again, we just have to divide. 80 divided by 10 is eight. Eight hours is our answer. So our experiment is a success. We have three different versions of the speed distance time formula. And we prefer to use whichever one has the value we're looking for isolated on the left. We know that any version of the formula will work to solve any problem but we might prefer to do it this way so that we have less steps to show. That is today's daily dose of math. Please like, subscribe, and share.